Hello and thank you for watching the second lesson of chapter 2, which is 2.2 iOS navigation. For this lesson, I'm going to use a physical device, same device as we used on the previous lesson, the switch, to demonstrate for you how to navigate on the Cisco iOS, as well as Cisco modes of operations, which is very important for you to remember them. Now, you need to identify what is a switch and what is a router. So if we look at the device, for example, in the front of the device, you need to identify, is this a switch or a router? Now, this has got lots of Ethernet ports in the front, well, 24 of them, and two gigabit ports at the, at the end, which is a switch, because the routers don't have too many Ethernet ports. And uh, for me to configure this switch, I need to actually access the console port, which is located at the back. And you're always going to see console written, right? and then I'll plug the switch to start it. Now the switch doesn't have on and off button. As soon as I plug it, it will start, yeah? So for this, I'm gonna actually use my one of the newer console cables, which has got one side RJ45 and the other side is USB. So RJ45 side of it, I'm gonna connect it to my console port, like that. And this side, I'm gonna connect it to my USB port on the PC. There we go, we have a connection now. Now I need to find out what COM did that USB get because it's not going to be COM1. So for that, I actually need to access, uh, right click and access the PC, so manage the PC. And what I, what I want is actually access the, uh, after I got computer management, go to the device manager and look at the port. And you can see that USB to serial has got port 4 or COM4. Right. So now when I open putty, for example, I will ask, change that from serial com one, which is default to serial com four. Right. And uh, there you go. This is now waiting, even though it says R one there doesn't really matter. That's just uh, waiting now for the connection. As soon as I connect the power cable now to the switch, that should be some stuff that should start. Well, not as soon as, but okay, you can hear the switch. Okay, it started to work. So I'm gonna put this switch down and then show you how to navigate through the iOS. Okay, so while the switch is booting, let me just go through the slides and wait till I come back when the switch has finished booting. So. Cisco has a primary modes of operations. For example, it has two primary modes. It has a Cisco ex user executive mode. And this mode is just like a view only. You can't really do that much. It's just like restricted view anyway. And uh, to access or configure the switch, you need to access the privilege mode, another mode which is called privilege executive mode. So it allows you to access all commands and features, privilege mode. User executive mode is a view only mode. Very basic commands that you can do in that. So those two modes we need to identify which ones are which ones are first. User mode is greater than sign, and when you see it like a hash sign, that was privileged exec mode. We'll see it. We'll get to this mode first, and then we have to access this mode afterwards. Then we have a global configuration mode. In here, after we access from the user mode to the privilege mode. We need to, if you want to do the configuration, we need to access the global configuration mode. And the global configuration mode will take effect on the switch as a whole. So any commands, for example, host names and so on, it will do them in the global configuration mode. And then we have other specific com uh, configuration mode or sub configuration modes, which like line, VTY, uh, interface modes and so on. Each mode has distinctive prompt, which we're going to see it yeah. Okay, so if I go back to the switch and see how well we're doing. Okay, we're nearly there. We're nearly there. Let me just move this cable away from my side. Okay. Um, now we're going to explain it later on. We're going to see all these, uh, what's coming up in the uh, show version and so on. What version we have and so on. But for now, we're just accessing the switch. So as you can see, because this switch is a brand new, it's like a factory reset, we got this question, would you like to enter initial configuration dialog? That says, would you like to start the wizard to configure this switch? And we are not the, we are not ready for all the com 
questions it's going to ask us to configure. So for now, we just say no and press enter. Now you can see here I can tell what mode we are on. And I want you to look at not the name, right? That's a default name, but this, this greater than sign. This is a user mode. So user mode or user executive mode, user mode really can't do that much. It's a restricted view on the on the user mode. And then for me to actually uh, configure the switch, I need to access the privilege mode by typing enable. And you can see now that has changed. The prompt has changed to something else. It's hash sign. So when I see a hash, so I'm not looking at the name. I'm looking at just the prompt, right? So if I just copy these and let me start a notepad and we can see now here, this one, I'm not concerned. I'm not concerned with the name, right? Just the, the modes. So we had like this. So here, if it's greater than sign, this is a user exact mode, exact mode, and it's restricted view can't really do that much and then this uh, uh, hash sign is a uh, user privilege mode privilege exec mode so privilege exec mode and user exec mode privilege exec mode you like the administrator you can do whatever you want and uh, I had to type enable to get from the user mode to the privilege mode and uh, for example if I want to go back to the user mode I have to type disable now I'm in the user mode if I type exit all the way out, I'm logged off from the device. When I press enter, I will be in the user mode, type enable, then I will be in the privilege mode. Here, for example, if I go back, right, disable to go to user mode and I press question mark. Now all the commands that will be available from the user mode, right, which will be different to the privilege mode. Privilege mode will have everything the user mode has and extra right and this we will learn more in the next lesson yeah so to configure or to actually be accessing the device so we can configure we need to go to the privilege mode so we are there and then to actually configure the first mode we need to access is a global configuration mode which is configure to access it we 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 type configure terminal and you can see the prompt of the global configuration mode any configuration that we do there, it will take effect globally on the on the switch. We're not doing specific configuration mode. So, in, for example, uh, if I want to configure, say I want to configure the console port, or maybe I want to configure one of the ports in the front, I need to enter the specific configuration mode. So, for example, if I want to configure the console, I'll type line console zero, right? And you can see that's a different, more specific configuration mode, right? So you can see it there, line, right? So what we have, for example, here on this window, we can see all, all four modes. We can see that's a user mode, user. And we, we need to type enable to get to the privilege mode. That's our privilege mode. So we are like a sudo, like the administrator. And later on, we'll see that we want to restrict the access with the password and so on. And then from the privilege mode, when we type configure terminal, we went to the global configuration mode. And any configuration that we do here will take effect globally on the switch. And then we can t we have access to more sub configuration mode or specific configuration mode for the console port, line console zero. And we access the console port configuration mode. We can access something else, right? For, for example, uh, other configurations. Uh, let me just get rid of these. Um, so if I type exit here, there's a lot of shortcuts I will teach you later on. Uh, so line, for example, interface, interface FA00 or 01, for example. Now I'm in the interface sub configuration mode. As you can see, there's quite a few sub configuration or specific configuration modes, but there's three of them you need to know right you need to be very familiar with because sometimes we we can't do some stuff if we are in wrong mode right so um, this user <laughs> user privilege privilege and this is a global uh, global config is like this yeah config here 
and this is a global config global config and then you had a more specific configuration mode like line and so on right now for example um, here when I'm in the global configuration mode no I'm in the specific interface configuration mode right if I type exit that will take me back to the global configuration mode so it will take me back to just here this one and then if I type exit again it will just take me to the privilege mode right let's try that yeah so if I go to exit here there we go we are in the global configuration mode and exit again exit and then now we are in the privilege mode if I want to go all the way out I type either exit again and then I'm logged off from the router or from the switch in this case if I press enter I need up in the user mode in user mode we have to go the steps I can't go straight to the configuration uh, I can't go to the global configuration mode so first I have to go to the privilege mode by typing enable and then I type configure uh, terminal terminal to go to the global configuration mode and if I'm in the specific a sub configuration mode say of the console console 0 this is a sub configuration mode I type end I can either type end so if, for example if I want to go to say I want to go to back to the privilege mode there's two methods I can either type end from anywhere I am that will take me straight back there or shortcut keyboard control control plus Z that will take you straight to the privilege mode so what I'm gonna do the first I'm gonna actually type just type end here so end and you can see that take me to the control to the privilege mode if I go back to the um, line console 0 and I'm pressing control Z in the keyboard and that's taking me to the privilege mode as well so that's one way of actually getting uh, moving around and um, later on we'll see the uh, the commands be more like how to configure the, the, the global configuration mode and so on but for this lesson that's it just navigation through through the user mode so I'll go disable here I'm in the user mode when I type enable uh, yep <laughs> I'm in the, I just want to check the spelling is correct enable I'm in the privilege mode now I can do anything I want on the device I can even delete the iOS if I want to um, but to actually configure the device I need to go to the global configuration mode so configure terminal terminal <laughs> let me just uh, spell it correctly um, co configure terminal any commands that I do here will take effect globally like the name of the device like some passwords and so on and then I can go to line console 0 so specific configuration mode if I want to go very quickly back to the privilege mode I'll just type end or control Z and that takes me all the way back to the privilege mode okay that's it um, we looked at the modes so we looked at the user mode so you should be very familiar and I'm not I don't want you to look at the name I just want to look at the prompt so user mode privilege mode global configuration mode and then sub configuration mode or a more specific configuration mode we looked at control Z we looked at what end does so these two they do actually the same thing control Z and end and exit when we do exit for example if I type exit here that will take me one step backwards if I type exit again as well that'll take me again one step backwards but you don't want to type exit 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 so many times you can just do control Z to go to privilege mode if you want to move from the privilege to the user mode you have to type disable disable moves you back if you want to move from the user mode to the privilege mode we have to type enable enable okay excellent um, thank you for watching lesson 2.2 iOS navigation this is of chapter 2 basic switch and end device configuration please have a look in my other videos and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel this has been Astrid Krasnici bye bye